Yesterday was the 223rd uh, continuous demonstration in the city of Elizabeth City, North Carolina, over the police shooting of Andrew Brown Jr. Again, folks, unsigned warrant. Seven motherfuckers with AR-15s. They knew ahead of time that he was unarmed, had no weapon, no danger about him, right? As soon as they shot him in the back of the head, their immediate goal was not to administer uh, medical attention, but to instead start scurrying around immediately to pick up the bullets. Uh, when they shot and killed Andrew Brown Jr., they shot into a neighbor's kitchen. So imagine it's 8.30 in the morning, you're making some, I don't know, English muffins, and you get shot. Well, thankfully, the neighbor wasn't there, but they could have been. They could have been killed. Who would have known? The sheriff deputies involved here in this shooting are very, very, very horrible, horrible people. Um, immediately after shooting Andrew Brown Jr., Deputy Daniel Meads decided to hide the amount of bullets in his magazine. Uh, but he is an idiot, and so he asked someone to shine a light on him, not realizing that they were recording on their body camera, and also hoping that this would probably be covered up, but, you know, whoops. Um, and so he immediately lied to investigators about how many times he fired, and, but guess what? It's all good, because they painted Black Lives Matter on the street. That's right, folks. Uh, the city of Elizabeth City painted Black Lives Matter on the street, didn't pay the people who painted it properly, and that means everything's fine. But wait, even more! The Pasquotank County Sheriff's Department changed their name to the peace officers. How could you possibly be afraid of a peace officer? Right? So, but here's the thing. Here's the question I ask. This is, and I ask this every day. Um, if I'm working at, uh, let's, let's say I'm working at Wendy's, okay? And I decide... I just feel like killing someone. So they're going through the drive-thru and then I just get a chainsaw and I just slash their fucking head apart in the drive-thru and they're dead now? Answer me this. What would happen? What's more likely to occur? A. Me getting paid vacation, overtime, and a raise. Or B. Getting sent to fucking jail. Well, if you answered A, that means you're probably working in the Pasquotank County Sheriff's Department where you can just kill someone, shoot into a neighbor's house in a school zone at 8.30 in the morning with an unsigned warrant, and you get paid vacation. You get a, a bunch of overtime, and you get a salary increase. But it's all good, because you're a peace officer now. What is this world where only certain careers you're allowed to murder people indiscriminately, and some you go to jail? That's strange. If I'm stocking the shelves at Food Lion and I decide, eh, I just want to explode some C4 or some shit, blow up the fucking chip aisle, kill three people, would I get paid vacation? I don't think so. I, I would probably, and rightfully, go to jail. But if you're a cop, you can do whatever the fuck you want, kill anyone you want, endanger anyone up, anyone you want, and then that time next week, you'll be kicking up on the fucking coffee table watching some Netflix, collecting your government fucking welfare checks, because that's what that is. Again, how come people are getting fired during a pandemic and they can't collect unemployment, but you're a cop and you can kill someone and you can just get free money for months while you do nothing? What? Anyone? Does anyone know? It's fucked up, folks. So uh, we've been out here for 223 days in a row, uh, and we don't we don't approve of that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, so 